You live in Dubai I do. right now. And I was there uh, last October. I'll be back this October and then I'll be back in January. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's an amazing place. Best city in the world. Look at you. There you I go. just light up when I talk about it. I've, been, I've traveled the world. I've never in my life been in a city where I wake up every single day so grateful to live there. Yeah. So I hope the government is watching this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm a so, huge fan. Yeah. I, when I was there, I was basically a member of the tourism board just yes. like you. And uh, I'm, I'm a huge fan and I'm, I'm uh, talking it up. But one thing I noticed there is you talked about like Andrew Tate's and his Bugattis is that yeah. in Dubai, I mean, you know, <laughs> Jesus, I mean, there's Incredible. fancy cars yeah, everywhere. everywhere. There's huge buildings everywhere. Mm. There's wealthy people everywhere. everywhere. And then compared to London, there's wealthy people on top of the wealthy people. Yeah. There's a lot of beautiful women. Beautiful that come women, there. yeah. And so, what is the state of relationships in Dubai? Yeah. Um, what is it like to be a rich man in Dubai? <sighs> um, you've stated before that rich men uh, have terrible relationships terrible. and dating choices. Absolutely. Which, and I know a lot of rich men, and they would think. <laughs> Damn it, Satya, that's the only reason they became rich. <laughs> so I could go out with amazing women. Yeah. And you're saying, well, because you're rich, mm. you're going to attract the wrong woman. Talk about these um, high quality problems that we, that we have in Dubai. Well, here's the fundamental thing that men don't understand about women, and they really don't understand this. The more attracted she is to you, the more she makes access easy. And the, therefore, the, if you have a lot of money and you use you lead with money, it means that if you have to buy it, she's not actually genuinely there. When a woman is truly attracted to you, she makes access so easy. So uh, men have gone into this world, particularly you know ones that haven't really had success with women growing up, thinking if only I get rich, I can access any woman. All women just want money. But if you speak to handsome men and men who are really, really attractive, they'll tell you, I've never even spent a penny on a woman and I've had whatever woman I want. The reality is what happens with rich men is they are essentially accessing women who don't actually want to be with them. Because if you have to use an external quality to attract a woman, she's attracting to that external quality and not you. So what will happen is they have all this abundance of money. They can access any woman they want, but the only woman that will connect with them is a one that is there for something uh, for the lifestyle. And they have the worst luck with women, but the women have the best deal in Dubai. The women in Dubai will be there with a G-Wagon, her rent is paid, and all because there is an Arab man dumb enough to believe that she's loyal to him and she loves him and th- and I've been privy to situations where a girl will be like okay baby love you blah 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 and then she's but and he's paying for her whole rent and this that and the other while she's with her boyfriend and sneaking him in and out the back door so unfortunately what happens in Dubai is because um, men who want to make a lot of money who don't have a lot of success with women go to Dubai and see all of these beautiful women that are clearly out of his league they can now access them through money but they genuinely believe these women want them for them but the reality is if we just pick people who are on the same level of attractiveness to ourselves we actually can form a connection but nobody wants that anymore they want has anyone ever wanted that everyone wants to punch above their weight do you think human condition it's a human condition i guess it depends on your level of attractiveness to begin with if you are happy with your level of attractiveness you're probably happy with your partners similar somebody on a similar level if you're not so happy i think then you'll want to the less happy you are the more you'll want to punch i guess don't you always want the job you can't get maybe maybe it's a man thing as a woman you kind of want a more equal uh, you want a sense of equality with your partner as men of course you want something a bit more attractive but uh, as much as I can understand that if uh, if attractiveness is the most important ingredient in your partner selection you're going to be miserable you're going to because she can tell that you are a shallow man and she can tell that she can manipulate you. Now, if I know that this man just loves a pretty face and it doesn't actually matter how I behave, but he just loves me because I look a certain way, I don't have respect for him. I will never, ever have respect for him. And I will I will think that I'm irreplaceable because he's so excited by my looks. But if he makes it very clear that you're a beautiful girl, but your behavior also has to be respectable, then a woman naturally gets in line. She wants that man. She doesn't want a man who's a fan. We actually don't want men who are a fan. We say we do, but then we end up treating them like a fan. And how do you treat fans? Oh, go away after a little while. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately. It's similar with male-male relationships. Like, you know, you don't want 
you want a, a male relationship with mm-hmm. a male that has boundaries. Yeah, absolutely. That's someone you can respect. Yeah. You don't want one that doesn't have that. So. It, it exudes masculinity. Boundaries is, it exudes dominance, power, and masculinity. And without it, it exudes low self-esteem and weakness, unfortunately. Okay, so if you're a man, how can you tell if the woman's a gold digger? Oh, it's, do you know what is so bizarre? I work with men all over the world and I'll have clients in, you know, in LA, I'll have clients in Miami, I'll have clients in London and every gold digger follows the exact same script. It's like they have a WhatsApp group and they all know what to do. But the gold diggers are, they are literally prototypes, copy paste of each other. They come from deprived backgrounds. First and foremost, they come from very deprived backgrounds, but have very expensive taste. Now, when you come from deprived background, uh, what it does is it puts women into survival mode. Now, if she's come from deprivation and she has the luxury of beauty, the quickest way to get out of that deprivation is to utilize your beauty. Who can you utilize your beauty with? Men with money who have got low self-esteem. You can't use it with men with high self-esteem. So she usually comes from a deprived background, usually either the culture is deprived or there's no father figure, there's some deprivation, but she has very materialistic values. Now that combination suggests she's going to look for materialism rather than connection. The other thing is they don't have a career. With all gold diggers, they have odd jobs here and there. So she'll be, she had 10 minutes of a hairdresser, 20 minutes of, you know, real estate, half an hour of being an influencer. And therefore, there's no identity in her career. And she doesn't derive any kind of um, satisfaction from hard work. So she essentially wants a partner like that. She'll also look for somebody who is a lot less attractive than she is. So she'll go for somebody who is considerably like perhaps she might be beautiful but she'll choose somebody maybe really super overweight or 25 years older they look for somebody who they are who is a clear fan because only a fan will say yes 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 to everything so they have to manipulate that low self-esteem and they also have very similar friends all of their friends will be the same thing and one thing with gold diggers is they happily introduce you to their friends real women that really love you what they'll do is they don't want you around all their friends all the time because you know they don't want to show you all their pretty friends all the time gold diggers will have all these beautiful friends and invite them over and say they're coming on holiday with us or they, she's going to stay with us a couple of days. She's going to come and do it. And the reason they do that is they want to create a, a physical barrier between them and the guy. They want to add somebody into the mix so that they don't have to get too close to this guy. And the friends are all in on it. They're like, oh, God, I've got this new sugar daddy. Can you come with me? Because so they don't one. have to be intimate? They, so they don't have to be intimate. Wow. This is a trick a lot of gold diggers do. And they'll sometimes call me. They'll say, do you want to come to dinner? Because I don't want him to kiss me. And I was like, I don't know, I'm busy today, but you guys have fun. So they add physical barriers to them and their partner. And the sex is very intermittent. When they need something, they are so affectionate and so sexual. But when they get what they need, they disappear for two, three days and they don't let you touch them and they've got a headache for six weeks. So it's the signs are very clear, but with men who are so desperate to be loved they will believe anything to feel loved particularly by a beautiful woman and i always say it's almost your own fault when you make beauty a priority you suffer the consequences because it's a shallow vacuous quality to make as an essential ingredient for a connection so you almost deserve the punishment of a gold digger and this is happening in dubai you know what i used to think it was just dubai it's everywhere it's universal. I think what's happened is there's YouTube channels and there are like Instagram profiles that teach women the tricks. So they have all these similar tricks and they all kind of like work together. And it's a great, I have no problem with gold diggers. It looks like I do because I talk about it quite a bit. But the reality is if a man is dumb enough and is shallow enough, he's just as shallow as a materialistic girl. The man who will literally, you know, leave his wife and kids because somebody 20 years younger is giving him a bit of attention. He's just as shallow as you are. So if you want to use him, he's also using you as an ego boost. He has nothing in common with you. What does this man have in common with a 22 year old in Dubai when he's an entrepreneur and the CEO of a really successful company? What does he have in common with an influencer? Nothing, but he just wants the ego boost. So he's just as shallow and therefore I don't feel any guilt. I, I, I'd be like, don't feel anything. It's both as shallow as each other. You're almost a perfect match. You're right. All's yeah. fair in love and war. All's fair. And take responsibility. Take You're responsibility. big on that. Everyone take responsibility. Stop blaming everyone else for your circumstances. Yeah, exactly. You, you, you what did they say? You, uh, you, you reap what you sow. Exactly. Okay. That. That's yeah. well said. So Jim Rickards has just recorded a video that's not available to anyone in the public. And he's going to be talking 
about how this upcoming recession is gonna be fast, it's gonna be bloody, it's gonna be nasty. But at the same time, he's gonna show you how you can position yourself to profit from all of this chaos. Now we've made this video only available to our viewers. Go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim. Watch that immediately. I can't say enough good things about Jim Rickards. He understands the global economic system better than any guest I've ever had on London Real. His predictions are almost uncannily true, and you can learn how to profit from his vision, from his expertise, and his understanding of economics. So go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim or click the link below. It's an excellent, excellent look on what's gonna happen in the future and how you can position yourself 